Carlos, I'm here with Mark of uh, Series. You guys do some really awesome greenhouses. Can you talk about what makes a greenhouse of your company different than a typical greenhouse? Well, thank you for asking that question. Um, I, we, our greenhouses are different than normal greenhouses that are usually all made out of glass or polycarbonate. They really have too much glazing. That doesn't work very well in the Rocky Mountain regions and other regions, but Rocky Mountain is one of our key markets. They bring too much light in in the day, too much heat, and then at night you lose all that when it freezes, and so you, don't, you can't grow through the year. So our greenhouses are designed differently than normal greenhouses, and the normal way to do that for us is we only have as much light as windows as we need for the plants. We don't need more than a little bit, and then the rest is really insulated, so we don't have any loss of heat in the night, and we have just the right amount of heat gain in the daytime. Can you show us the panel that you guys use for your, your walls? Right yes, now? I'd be happy to. So our favorite building material is something that's very new, and you wouldn't find that really anywhere else. It's kind of a Lego system, so it's very easy to build. You can build a greenhouse in just a few hours, two, three hours is all you really need. Um, it is a called a SIPS panel, structurally insulated panel. It has in the inside um, polyurethane foam, which has an R7 per inch, so the total has tw R28. On the outside, it has a wonderful new material called magnesium oxide. It's a replacement for OSB and is completely water permeable. So it's a great thing to have on inside the greenhouse, also fireproof, so you know if it ever gets a fire, it will not burn down. Awesome. And then you guys take the heat that's built up during the day and you store it for use at night with an air exchange system. How does that work? Wow, you have studied up on us. Yeah. So the easiest way to do the, explain that is we call it the ground-to-air heat transfer system. So in the daytime, with our intense sun, we get high temperatures. Under the roof, it can get 100 degrees or more. We take this air, we bring it down into the soil, we heat the soil, store the energy, and cool the air. So you have cool air coming in, which is what the plants like, but the air got heated. At the beginning of the year, it may be 55 to 60 degrees. At the end of a summer, you are at 70 degrees. Now in the winter, what you do is you take the cool air that ha is gonna be there, you stick it, bring it to the same place, you heat it up in the soil, and it comes back out at the 60 degrees or whatever the temperature of the soil is. If you do that, you can just get year-round growing with only the use of a fan. And those fans have roughly 60 watts you know what I mean? power, which is just about the same as a light bulb is. Very cool. And real quick, I just want to let people get a look at, you got a little mobile one here you put together for people to see. I'm going to move around the front side of it. And I can show you the fan too. Okay. Just kind of talk about the windows real quick. I'm going to get back. The, the windows are... Um, actually very cheap windows. We want to use windows that are not as energy efficient because new windows that you get in energy efficient houses um, have low E coatings on them. They don't allow you to grow anything that flowers behind them because there's not enough light coming in. It looks like for us, it looks the visible light is good, but for plants, those windows are dead. They're black. So we use clear glass, which is a very, very simple, old-fashioned way to make that. They're double-pane, argon-filled, so they're kind of energy efficient, but they let all the energy come in. And I can show you on the inside this GAT system, our energy storage device. Here it runs off a little battery, so we turn on the battery, and then you can hear the fan going. It sucks it in on the top and brings it out on the other side, and that's in this case would be in the summer day, that would be a cooling mechanism to keep the temperature inside the greenhouse at a comfortable level. And then you guys even have a way with some of these where you want extra insulation where the windows can be covered during the night. You have a graphic of that over here I'll get on, on video real quick. So this is a greenhouse that is meant, it's called our Inuit design. Um, it's actually used for very, very cold places. What happens here, this roof has no, light, has no windows, so we have to rely on only the vertical windows to bring all the light in. The way we do that is we have reflectors in front of the windows that bring the extra light in 
during the daytime. At night, we can close these. There is an automatic mechanism that closes those windows. And then this greenhouse will have no energy loss at night at all. And so we have a greenhouse that is working in Leadville, which is at 10,500 feet. And last year they had 25 days of minus 25 and below. And they grew tomatoes in the middle of the winter without heating. Well, that's very cool. I appreciate you taking time to be with us today. And uh, your website is located at? It's um, seriesgreenhouses.com. And I'll make sure there's a link in the video notes. Again, thank you for being with us today. Thank you. I appreciate it.